हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज विकास वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ द फोर्थ वीक ऑफ फरवरी द सेशन विल बी हाईली इम्पॉर्टेंट सो डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो फ्रेंड्स विल स्टार्ट विद द सेशन बट बिफोर दैट वी हैव समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट टू टेल यू अबाउट सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन ऐप बाय द नेम कैरियस क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड एंड लॉग्ड इन थ्रू योर जी मेल आई डी यू विल बी ट्रांसफर टू दिस पेज and you can see here various all courses and various other sections provided to us the courses that are provided by our team are very helpful and they will be very useful in your preparation in the courses that we provide we give you daily current affairs weekly current affairs and monthly current affairs in daily current affairs we will be providing you with multiple quiz of 20 questions daily then we'll be giving you the daily current affairs content also similarly for weekly we will providing you 50 questions of quiz on weekly basis as well as all the important current affairs of that week will be given to you in an ebook similarly for monthly basis apart from this we'll be providing you with banking awareness and all the banking relating exams so don't worry your preparation is in our hands we'll be providing you with the best content apart from this then you should know we covered topic wise important daily topic wise or the monthly topic wise are covered in our course we'll give you 20 types of such pdf that will cover apps and web portals important days books and authors national affairs international affairs sports awards applications and web portals and defense sector all the topics that you see of general studies are basically covered here as you saw we provide current affairs in english hindi banking affairness exam pdf special current affairs topic wise current affairs are provided to you state current affairs then topic wise quizzes are provided to you there is another section in special current affairs that is learn from picture and we have named this infographics infographics are your interactive pdfs that you can interact with they are highly informative i highly suggest you to go and check these out because they will be helping you to learn things in an interactive way so do check them out they will be very valuable to you all you have to do is to purchase our course you can use code vikas10 that will be giving you an additional 10% discount on the purchase you make so it is a bumper offer all you have to do is go and download our app and check our courses so friends we'll start with our session so welcome back friends let's start with the session in today's video we will be discussing some important current affairs of the fourth week of february the session will be highly important and it will be a very beneficial session for you all so friends let's start india's first bio safety level 3 containment mobile laboratory launched in maharashtra khajurao dance is observed or it can be asked khajurao festival or dance either if them fast is belong to which state it is in or it is of madhya pradesh highly important mark this it is of madhya pradesh then assam became the first state to launch night navigation mobile app in brahmaputra river mark this night navigation mobile app which state became the first to launch the night navigation mobile app it is your assam and it is for brahmaputra river Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Kisan Drone Yatra and flagged off 100 Kisan drones to spray pesticides on farms. Kerala Startup Mission partnered with Google for startup to foster global links. Center approved continuation of National Means Cum Merit Scholarship scheme for 5 years with an outlay of 1827 crore rupees. Then if we move to the question and look for the first question it is asked The central government recently approved the continuation of central sector umbrella scheme of border infrastructure and management from 2021 to 2022 to dash with an outlay of dash so it has been till what year and what was the outlay of that project it is being asked here or of that scheme so it was for the year till the year 2025 to 26 and an outlay of rupees 13020 crore rupees so the correct option here becomes option 5th all right and remember this bim can also be given what is bim it is border infrastructure and management moving on which company recently announced its participation in the c me v6 undersea cable consortium as a major investor to scale up high speed global network capacity tell me what first of all what will be the aim of this c me v6 the main aim that we are talking about here is that 
is to connect Singapore via or Singapore to France, which will be the largest undersea cable system globally through undersea cable. So I repeat this CME V6, this will be connected Singapore to France undersea or uh, via undersea cable and the total kilometer or the total route will be of around 19,200 kilometer to connect Singapore to France and this will be the largest undersea cable system globally through which ATEL could increase its capacity to 100 TB per second or its, its global network. All right, highly important. First of all, mark this. Now, as I said that Bharti Global. So similarly, here is, it is asking that which company recently announced its participation in the CME V6 Undersea Cable Consortium. So it is your Bharti Atel has announced its participation in this CME V Undersea Cable Consortium as a major investor. All right, as a major investor. All right, and it is to scale up the high speed global network capacity in the overall investment in the cable system will be around 20% that will go live in the year 2025. All right, so the correct option here becomes Bharti Atel. Which company recently announced that it will land the multi terabyte India X Asia Express undersea cable system in Hulumel Maldives to connect India and Singapore? So, which company recently announced that it will lend multi terabyte India Express undersea cable system in Huluhu Mail Maldives to connect India and Singapore? It will be your Reliance Geo Infocom Limited. All right, the aim here is to diversify the economy and establish it as a key communication hub in South Asia. All right, then you should know IEX. IEX is your India Asia Express, the full form. India Asia Express system originates in Mumbai in the west and connects directly to Singapore. So where did it originates? It originates in Mumbai and it connects directly to Singapore. Alright. And this will branch including additional landings in India, Malaysia and Thailand. That means the aim to connect it from Mumbai to Singapore. But in between there will be multiple stops also that such as Malaysia, Thailand and Thailand and India also there will be multiple stops. Next, the bilateral air exercise named Eastern Bridge 6 was commenced between India and Dash. So the name of the exercise is Eastern Bridge 6 and this exercise is between India and Oman. First of all, mark this. Alright, this is the sixth edition of this exercise. It is a five day long air exercise. Alright, this is a air exercise as it is the saying it was held in the Jodhpur air station in Rajasthan all right so the location where this exercise was is your Jodhpur air force station and the state will be Rajasthan so eastern bridge 6 it is an air exercise location where this held was Jodhpur air force station in Rajasthan and it is an exercise between India and Oman it is the sixth edition of the exercise and this was a five day long exercise that you should know all right next Oh, let me write the answer correct. Option 5 here. Next, center extended PM cares for children scheme till 28th of Feb 2022. So, it has been expired now recently. All right. Then, Assam government launched a project Arohan to hone student skill. Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India, Delhi headquarters declared a prohibited place. Japan International Corporation Agency, that is your JICA, approved 1000 crore rupees river cleanup project in Pune. Mark this. Then, Minister of State for Culture released signature tune of Vande Bharatam, composed by Ricky Cage and Bikaram Ghosh. Mark this. Minister of State for Culture released a signature tune for Vande Bharatam that was composed by Ricky Cage and Bikaram Ghosh. Then, Giriraj Singh launched Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Grameen dashboard. Next, Giriraj Singh also launched an Omspan Speaker app, Omspan Person app for smooth functioning of Mandrega scheme. All right, then Indian Railways and Bhel has commissioned India's first solar photovoltaic plant of 7 megawatt at Bina, Madhya Pradesh. Mark this. 
these two are also important remember i repeat again giriraj singh launched the pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin dashboard and giriraj singh is the only person who launched the ombudsman app for smooth functioning of mandrega next question name the organization that recently signed a loan agreement of 68 million dollar with iifl home finance limited to improve financial access to affordable green housing for lower income groups in india tell me which organization it will be your asian development bank that has signed an agreement for providing loan to lower income groups families in india so that they can afford their own houses and remember in this loan that is of 68 million dollar loan from this 80% of the loan will be provided to women borrowers or co borrowers and the rest 20 will be allocated for the rest of the infrastructure or loan or anyone who want to avail this loan but 80% of this is reserved for the women itself so the correct option here is option 4 next which payments bank recently signed an acquiring partner for e rupee service to make it accessible at offline stores across india i repeat you have to name me the payment bank that recently signed as an acquiring partner for e rupee acquiring partner for e rupee service to make accessible at offline stores across india it will be your paytm payments bank limited all right paytm payments bank limited announced that it is an official acquiring partner it became the official acquiring partner for e rupee vouchers which will be accessible at offline stores across india and remember this paytm payments bank limited it has also partnered with 197 communication limited that owns paytm for improving its strong merchandise base so pay this paytm 197 actually communication is the parent company of paytm payments bank limited also all right moving on delhi cabinet approved india's first e waste eco park mark this india's first e waste eco park will be set up where it was set up in delhi msme technology center with an outlay of 200 crore rupees to be set up in sindhurg bses yamuna power limited commission india's first smart managed ev charging station in delhi mark this highly important india's first smart managed electric vehicle charging station will be commissioned in new delhi and it is built by bsc bses yamuna power limited if the question is asked where is the largest electric vehicle power station being built it is in gurugram haryana mark this then tamil nadu over to karnataka to become the top state in overall installed renewable capacity cochin international airport to become the power positive with new solar plant what does this mean power positive that means they are generating more power from the solar energy than they are actually using it next in feb 2022 Dash became the first bank to enter the metaverse to open a lounge named Onyx through blockchain technology in decent decentraland. So first of all metaverse if we are talking about this metaverse is owned by Meta. Meta was earlier known as Facebook and this Facebook is who owns Facebook? Mark Zuckerberg. Remember apart from this Mark Zuckerberg also owns Instagram, WhatsApp. basically they are owned by facebook coming back so what is the name of the bank or the first bank that entered the metaverse it will be your jp morgan chase and corporation is the largest financial institution in the united states and it became the first bank to achieve or arrive the metaverse with a virtual world based technology with an opening a launch named onyx in blockchain technology based virtual world decentraland all right it is just like the real world but you are virtually there next which company recently extended its flagship campaign team cashless india along with sbi payments to boost digital payment infrastructure in guwahati lucknow and varanasi so remember it is your mastercard that has extended its campaign team cashless india it is your team cashless india along with sbi payments and it has tied with sbi payments to boost digital infrastructure in guwahati lucknow and 
Varanasi. Next, name the company that recently tested the iron drone based naval defense system named Sea Dome or Positive Dome by Maven Naval Warship. It will be your Israel. I repeat, Naval Defense System. All right, it is tested the iron dome naval defense system that was named sea dome or this is also known as protective dome and the warship that tested this sea dome or protective dome was maven naval warship all right and these all are related to what or the country that tested this sea dome or protective dome that is your iron dome naval defense system that was tested by maval defense or maven naval warship it is your israel country all right if you remember israel is the only country is also the country that is planning to make 150 villages of excellence in india 150 villages next who won the Air Things Masters Chess Tournament and became the third Indian to defeat Magnus Carlsen world number one. Very important question. It was also aired on YouTube live. So he is R. Pragananda who became the or who won the Air Things Masters Chess Tournament. Another question this can be asked is who is the winner of the Air Things Masters Chess Tournament and he became the third Indian to defeat Magnus Carlsen who is the number one chess player since 2000. 11 all right so he is our pragnanda mark this important all right then apart from this remember he became the india's youngest and the world's second youngest grandmaster in 2018 he became the youngest grandmaster of india and second youngest grandmaster of the world our pragnanda Next, which country will host the 2023 International Olympic Committee sessions after 40 years? <coughs> Sorry, it will be India. Our India will be hosting the 2023 International Olympic Committee sessions after 40 years. And this session will be held in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Highly important. After 40 years, that means it was last conducted in 1983. Correct option, India. Next, if we talk about some international news, Deloitte 2022 CXO Sustainability Report, Indian business ranked 5th, mark this. Then, Russian President Putin divided Ukraine into 3 countries. We are talking about the war going between. So, let's see what is the outcome, but don't focus on this right now. India and France signed roadmap on blue economy and ocean governance. Reliance Geo will launch India Asia Express undersea cable system in Maldives. Mark this, we just saw. Alright, and we also saw that Singapore will be connected to Japan using 19,200 km wire and the company that has partnered to do this is Bharti A10. India will set up India's first IT outside the country in United Arab Emirates. Highly important question. In which country will be India setting up their Indian Institute of Technology first time outside the country it will be in United Arab Emirates. Next, which of the following banks is not insured by Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation? Tell me, it is your primary corporative societies. So if I tell you about some banks that are insured by DIC, GC, that is your Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation, they are public sector banks, private sector banks, foreign banks, small finance banks, PTM banks, regional ruler banks, local area banks, state cooperative banks, district central corporation bank, urban corporation banks. They are all insured under the DIC GC. But here primary cooperative societies, they are not insured under this DIC GC. Next, the Ministry of Education approved the continuation of the National Means Come Merit Scholarship for a period of how many years? They have approved this for a period of 5 years with an outlay of 18,027 crore rupees. Next, Upper Bharat Project. This, oh sorry, Upper Bhadra Project, not Bharat. Upper Bhadra Project is the first project in Dash state to get national status. Highly important question. Upper Bhadra project is the first project in Karnataka 
दैट इज टू गेट द स्टेट इज टू गेट द नेशनल स्टेटस सो अपर भद्रा प्रोजेक्ट गॉट द नेशनल प्रोजेक्ट स्टेटस बाय द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हाई पावर्ड कमेटी एंड इट रिसीव एन आउटले ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज ग्रांट फ्रॉम द सेंटर एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट हैज बीन स्टेटेड एज द नेशनल स्टेटस और गिवन द नेशनल स्टेटस दैट इज अपर भद्रा प्रोजेक्ट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट मार्क दिस ऑल राइट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस प्रोजेक्ट अपर भद्रा प्रोजेक्ट इज अ मेजर लिफ्ट इरीगेशन स्कीम इट इज अ इरीगेशन स्कीम ऑल राइट अंडर इंप्लीमेंटेशन इन द सेंट्रल रीजन ऑफ कर्नाटका स्टेट विच इज बींग अंडरटेकन बाय विश्वर्या जला निगम लिमिटेड सो कमिंग बैक दिस अपर भद्रा प्रोजेक्ट इट गॉट द नेशनल स्टेटस इट गॉट अ ग्रांट ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज एंड इट इज लोकेटेड इट इज ऑफ विच स्टेट इट इज ऑफ कर्नाटका हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट विच बैंक रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद इंदौर क्लीन एनर्जी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टू फंड एशियाज लार्जेस्ट बायो सी एनजी प्लांट दैट इज गोबर्धन इन इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश आई रिपीट गोबर्धन ऑल राइट इट इज द लार्जेस्ट बायो सी एन जी प्लांट दैट इज बींग बिल्ट वेयर इट इन इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश सो टू थिंग्स गोबर्धन और योर बायो सी एन जी प्लांट दिस इज बींग बिल्ट इन इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश नाउ इट इज आस्किंग दैट विच बैंक हैज पार्टनर्ड विद इंदौर क्लीन एनर्जी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टू फंड दिस एशियाज लार्जेस्ट बायो सी एन जी प्लांट दैट इज गोबर्धन वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द बैंक इट इज योर एच डी एफ सी बैंक दैट हैज पार्टनर्ड विद इंदौर क्लीन एनर्जी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टू फंड दिस गोबर्धन नेक्स्ट विच बैंक रिसेंटली पार्टनर्ड विद ट्रिप मनी टू लॉन्च अ रुपी डी डी नॉमिनेटेड ग्लोबल क्रेडिट कार्ड रुपी डी नॉमिनेटेड क्रेडिट कार्ड इज बेसिकली रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाय विच बैंक दैट हैज टाइड अप विद ट्रिप मनी सो टेल मी दैट इज योर एस बी एम बैंक इंडिया हैज पार्टनर्ड विद ट्रिप मनी टू लॉन्च अ रुपी डी नॉमिनेटेड ग्लोबल क्रेडिट कार्ड इंपॉर्टेंट आंसर नेक्स्ट विच बैंक रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस टू न्यू सर्विसेज टू एनहेंस बोथ आउटवर्ड रेमिटेंसिस एंड इनवर्ड रेमिटेंसिस थ्रू नेट बैंकिंग एंड यू पी आई इट इज योर साउथ इंडियन बैंक दैट हैज रिसेंटली इंट्रोड्यूस टू न्यू सर्विसेज टू एनहेंस बोथ आउटवर्ड रेमिटेंसिस एंड इनवर्ड रेमिटेंसिस थ्रू नेट बैंकिंग एंड यू पी आई नेम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट रिसेंटली अप्रूव वन थाउजेंड करोड टू मूला एंड मूथा क्लीनिंग रिवर प्रोजेक्ट्स इन पुणे so it will be your japan international corporation agency that is your jika we just saw this in one liners that jika has approved 1000 crore rupees to mula and mutha cleaning river project in that is based in pune next to some appointments center nominated sanjay malhotra as the director of central board of rbi mark this who has been appointed as the director of central board of rbi is sanjay malhotra नेक्स्ट इज तनिष्का कोटिया एंड रिद्धिका कोटिया अपॉइंटेड एज बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ ब्रांड एम्बेसडर ऑफ गुरुग्राम हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट मार्क दिस तनिष्का कोटिया एंड रिद्धिका कोटिया दे बोथ हैव बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द ब्रांड एम्बेसडर फॉर बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ ब्रांड इन गुरुग्राम दैट इज इन हरियाणा सुधा रघुंथना अपॉइंटेड एज द मेंबर ऑफ सेंट्रल एडवाइजरी बोर्ड ऑन कल्चर विपुला गुना टिल्का अपॉइंटेड एज द चीफ फाइनेंशियल ऑफिसर ऑफ जेट एयरवेज Takuya Tusmura appointed as the president of C and CEO of Honda Cars India mark this also K N Raghavan appointed as the chairman of International Rubber Study Group and India elected for the chairmanship of this Indian Rubber Study Group two questions from here that who has been appointed as the chairman of International Rubber Study Group and which country is having the chairmanship for the International Rubber Study Group so the chairman is k n ragwan and the chairmanship is with india sanjeev sanyal inducted as full time member of economic advisory council to prime minister next coming back to the important questions matsya 6000 was designed by which organization first of all what is this matsya 6000 it is an indigenous underwater submersible vehicle underwater submersible vehicle matsya 6000 now it is asking who developed this matsya 6000 and one additional question when this will be launched it will be launched in the year 2024 and it was developed by isro indian space research organization matsya 6000 all right and remember 
This Matsya 6000 is capable of taking three humans to a depth of 6000 meters. This will be ready for its launch in 2024 for the Samudrayan mission. It will be ready for Samudrayan mission. Alright, and it is being developed by ISRO. Next, a nation to protect a book about the leadership of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the COVID-19 crisis was authored by whom? This was authored by Priyam Gandhi Modi. I repeat, book name of the book is A Nation to Protect and this is about the book about uh, this is about the leadership of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the COVID-19 crisis that was authored by Priyam Gandhi Modi. Next, Rishabh Pant has been appointed as the brand ambassador of Dish TV. Important. Nitin Pranjpi appointed as non-executive chairman and Sanjeev Mehta as the CEO of Hindustan Unilever Limited. Rakesh Sharma reappointed as the MD and CEO of IDBI Bank. Abhishek Singh appointed as the National E-Governance Division Chief. K.S. Mani elected as the Board of Directors of National Corporative Dairy Federation of India. Madhabi Puri Buck appointed as the first women chairperson of CB. Highly important. First women chairperson of CB is Madhabi Puri Buck. Next is which of the following is not a type of prospectus according to the Companies Act of 2013. So which of the following is not a type of prospectus according to the Companies Act of 2013? It is your statutory prospectus. Next, the 7th Soil Health Card Day was observed on Dash to commemorate the launch of the Soil Health Card Scheme in 2015. It is 19th of Feb 2022 has been or you can say is observed as the 7th Soil Health Card Day was observed on 19th of February 2022. Next, next is PM Kisan Scheme comes under which ministry? Simple and direct question. PM Kisan Scheme. What is the full form of this? It is Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi. Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi. This scheme was launched uh, or you can say the third anniversary. Third anniversary of this Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi was observed on 24th of Feb 2022. And it is asked that it comes under which ministry? This comes under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. So accordingly, it was the third edition or you can say the third anniversary. Then remember, this is 100% funded by central government. This scheme that is PM Kisan is 100% funded by central government. Next, Indian Railways and Bharat Heavy Electrics Limited commissioned India's first solar photovoltaic plant with a capacity of 1.7 megawatt in dash. So Indian Railway and Bharat Heavy Electric Indian Railways along with Bharat Heavy Electricals has commissioned India's first solar photovoltaic plant with a capacity of 1.7 megawatt in what location? This is in Bina. Madhya Pradesh. It is in Bina, Madhya Pradesh. Next, if we talk about defense, India and Oman conducted Eastern Bridge 6 exercise that was in Jodhpur from 21st to 25th of Feb. We saw this important. Mark this. We have already seen this in the question format. Israeli Defense Forces successfully tested Sea Dome missile defense system. Also saw this. Indian Air Force will participate in the exercise Cobra Warrior 2022 in United Kingdom. Mark this important. Indian Navy's multilateral exercise Milan 2022 began in Vishakapatnam. DRDO successfully tested India's first quantum key distribution technology in UP. MOD signed Rs 1075 crore rupees contract with BEL for retro modification of commander site of battle tanks T90. Third, India-Japan joint military exercise that is Dharma Guardian conducted in Karnataka. Highly important mark this. Third edition of the Dharma Guardian, it was conducted between India and Japan in the Karnataka region. So what was the location? It was Karnataka. <clears throat> Moving on. Under which portal the Defense Accounts Department that is DAD recently signed an MOU with the CSC E-Governance Service India Limited SPV to onboard pension services across India? Tell me. <clears throat> so under which portal? It was under the portal SPURSH. And what is the full form of SPURSH? It is 
सिस्टम फॉर पेंशन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन रक्षा ऑल राइट आई रिपीट सिस्टम फॉर पेंशन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आर एस एच इज फॉर रक्षा दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द डिफेंस अकाउंट पोर्टल और दिस इज द नेम ऑफ दिस पोर्टल ऑल राइट इन विच द डिफेंस अकाउंट डिपार्टमेंट दैट इज योर डेड रिसेंटली साइंड एन एमओ यू विद द सी एस सी ई गवर्नेंस सर्विस लिमिटेड टू ऑन बोर्ड पेंशन सर्विस अक्रॉस इंडिया सो इट इज योर स्पर्श पोर्टल In which state the Indian Railway is constructing India's first cable stayed railway bridge called Anji Khad Bridge? Anji Khad Bridge. It is being built over Anji River under Udhampur Srinagar Baramulla Rail Link project. So tell me in which Indian state it is located? Location is being asked here. All right. So. it is located in jammu and kashmir here it should be state/union territory so jammu and kashmir is your union territory all right where this anji khad bridge is being built over the anji river under the udham shrinagar baramulla rail link project moving on the ministry of railways approved to set up india's biggest world class wrestling academy where it is being set up in Delhi and in Delhi too it will be in Kishan Ganj. All right and who is developing this biggest world class wrestling academy? It is your wrestling academy and who is building this? It is being built by the Ministry of Railways. Next, which state union territory became India's millionaire capital with? Twenty thousand three hundred millionaire households, according to the Huron India Wealth Report twenty twenty one. So it will be your Mumbai, Maharashtra. That is the state that became the India's millionaire capital with twenty thousand three hundred millionaire households, according to Huron India Wealth Report of twenty twenty one. So option three is correct. Next question. Next, some important one-liners. Winter Olympic Games twenty twenty two concluded. Norway topped the medal tally. So, which country topped in the Winter Olympic Games? Norway. And where was it being taken place? In Beijing, China. Sixteen year old R. Pragnanda defeated world number one Magnus Carlsen at Airthing Masters. This is related to your chess mark. This and he became the youngest Indian player to become the Grand Master and second youngest player in the world to become the Grand Master. Mirabai Chanu won gold in Singapore qualified for Commonwealth Games in 55 kg category Carlos Alcaraz became the youngest ATP 500 winner by winning men single title in Rio Open 2022 Rafael Nadal won Mexican Open title 2022 Pooja Jatian became the first Indian to win a silver in the individual section of para archery world championship mark this Pooja Jatian became the okay now I'll give you a homework Tell me from which state Pooja Jatian belongs to. All right, she became the first Indian to win a silver in the individual section of Para Archery World Championship. Next, which company recently launched a new payment platform that was named IATA PA along with the International Air Transport Association to enable instant airline payment? It was launched by which? It was launched by Standard Chartered Bank. so i repeat standard chartered bank recently launched a new payment platform that is iata pay it is for international air transport association to enable instant airline payment if we talk about standard chartered bank who is the ceo zareen daruwala is the ceo headquarter is in mumbai maharashtra next who recently got appointed as a full time member of the economic advisory council to prime minister sanjeev sanyal next which institute recently tested india's first quantum key distribution technology in prayagraj and vidyachal of up along with defense research and development organization so which institute recently tested india's first quantum key distribution technology in prayagraj and vidyachal of up it was Whom? Tell me. Easy question. It was your IIT Delhi. IIT Delhi. Yes. Next. Next is where is Nehru Geological Park located? Z Nehru Geological Park is located in Telangana. 
नेक्स्ट नेम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट रिसेंटली साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर्स इंडिया टू ज्वाइंटली डिजाइन द सस्टेनेबल सिटीज प्रोग्राम वी हैव मेड वीडियो ऑल्सो ऑन दिस ऑन द सिंगल टॉपिक सो यू कैन गो एंड चेक इट इज योर वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम दैट हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर्स इंडिया टू ज्वाइंटली डेवलप और ज्वाइंटली डिजाइन सस्टेनेबल सिटीज इंडिया प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट Next are some important days. Twenty second February is observed as World Thinking Day and World Scout Day with the theme, Our World, Our Equal Future, the Environment and Gender Equality. Then on twenty fourth of Feb we observe Central Excise Day. Twenty seventh of Feb as World NGO Day. Twenty seventh only we observe World National Immunization Day, Polio National Immunization Day, along with National Protein Day with the theme, Food Futurism. Twenty eighth Feb as National Science Day with the theme Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for Sustainable Future. We saw a video on this. We made a video on this, so do check it out. All right. Then twenty eighth of Feb we observe Last Day of February as the Rare Disease Day with the theme Share Your Colors. Next is as per the IIP index, that is International. International Intellectual Property Index. India was ranked as forty third out of. 55 countries while who topped in this it was topped by united states of america so the correct option becomes option 4th here next the securities and exchange board of india that is your cb extended the deadline for the client level segregation of funds and monitoring of collateral at stock brokers to how much what till what date it was extended it was extended to 2nd may 2022 All right. Till second May twenty twenty two, it was extended from earlier date was twenty eighth of Feb. So the correct option here becomes option fourth. Which bank recently signed an agreement with National Hydro Power Generation Company, that is NHPC, to monetize ROE of five forty megawatt Camera One power plant in Himachal Pradesh for ten years? It is will be your HDFC Bank. Next, who recently got reappointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of IDBI Bank for the term of three years with an effect from nineteenth March twenty twenty two? So, Rakesh Sharma has been appointed or reappointed as the MD and CEO of IDBI Bank for the term of three years with an effect from nineteenth March twenty twenty two. All right. Next. who recently got elected to the board of directors of national corporative dairy federation of india so ks mani has been appointed to the board of directors of national corporative dairy federation of india ks mani next which ministry recently developed the ombudsman app for mandrega to ensure transparency of e governance we just saw this in one liners it was your ministry of ruler developments that is the reason i'd say one liners are highly important when we are discussing you should pay attention to them immigration visa foreigners registration and tracking is one of the mission mode projects to be undertaken by whom it is to be undertaken by the ministry of home affairs all right next where is nikarshan sadan museum located where is this museum located it is located in andhra pradesh to be precise it is located in visakhapatnam Andhra Pradesh. All right. Next, which of the following fast-moving consumer goods companies has become the India's first hundred percent plastic waste neutral FMCG company? It is your Dabur India Limited. It became the fast-moving consumer goods company has uh, that is your FMCG company that became the India's first hundred percent plastic waste neutral FMCG company. This will be asked that which is the India's first hundred percent. plastic waste neutral fmcg company it is your dabur india limited next as per the ministry of new and renewable energy dash became the top state in overall installed renewable capacity by surpassing karnataka we just saw this who surpassed karnataka it was your tamil nadu that became the top state in india in overall installed renewable capacity by surpassing karnataka and dash is the first state in india to cross 10000 megawatt of total solar capacity we discussed this also which is the state that has crossed the 10000 megawatt mark in the solar capacity it is rajasthan so the correct option is here tamil nadu and rajasthan that is option 5 tamil nadu has surpassed karnataka and became the top state in overall re installed renewable capacity and 
गुजरात राजस्थान इज द स्टेट दैट हैज टॉप्ड और इट हैज क्रॉस अ टोटल ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड मेगा वॉट ऑफ टोटल सोलर कैपेसिटी एज ऑफ फरवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो इट इज तमिलनाडु एंड राजस्थान करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेम द मल्टी लेटल एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द इंडियन नेवी विच कमेंस इन विशाखापट्टनम आंध्र प्रदेश विद द थीम ऑफ कमेरिडरी कोहिजन एंड कोलेब्रेशन द नेम ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज इज मिलैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मार्क दिस इट इज द इलेवेंथ एडिशन ऑफ द इंडियन नेवीज मल्टी लेटल एक्सरसाइज मिलैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इट वॉज इन विशाखापट्टनम आंध्र प्रदेश लोकेशन कैन बी आस वेयर वॉज दिस इन विशाखापट्टनम आंध्र प्रदेश ऑल राइट ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दिस इज नोन एज द सिटी ऑफ डेस्टिनी सिटी ऑफ डेस्टिनी विशाखापट्टनम इज नोन एज द सिटी ऑफ डेस्टिनी All right. Next, as part of India's comprehensive economic partnership agreement, in which country India is planning to establish first IIT outside India? We saw it will be developed in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Next, which of the following countries recently agreed to form a joint hydro development committee during the ninth meetings of the joint working group and joint steering committee on bilateral power sector? corporation which of the following countries agreed to form a joint hydro development committee during this ninth meeting it is nepal and india important and it is a joint hydro development committee during the ninth meeting of the joint working group and joint steering committee in which place the bsc's yamuna power limited recently commissioned india's first smart managed electric vehicle charging station we also covered this in one liner that india's first smart managed electric vehicle charging station is being built in new delhi so friends that's was our video thank you for watching and if you liked our video all you have to do is like the video and if you want us to bring more videos like this comment below and tell us because your suggestions your comments are very valuable to us also subscribe to our channel Also if you have any trouble regarding login or payment or any other issues then you can reach to us on our mail that is support at the rate of affairscloud.com or you can call us on the number 9677333862 and we'll resolve your issue as soon as possible also you should go and check our courses that are available at a very reasonable price and that will help you to boost your preparation